Now there are some properties regarding the factors and multiples of a given number. For example, if you write the factors of 12, so then we write 1 into 12, 2 into 6, 3 into 4. So the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. And here 12 is the product of 1 and 12. So here 12 is the multiple of 1 and 12. 12 is also the multiple of 2 and 6. And 12 is also the multiple of 3 and 4. So the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. And if you want to write the multiples of 12, so 12 into 1 equals to 12, 12 into 2 equals to 24, 12 into 3 equals to 36 and so on. So the multiples of 12 are 12, 24, 36, 48 and so on. Now let us write the properties in case of the factors and multiples. So the first one is, one is a factor of every number. So one is the factor of every number. So we can observe that one is a factor of 12, one is a factor of 6, one is a factor of 10. So one can be considered as the factor of any natural number. So every number. Now next property is every number is the factor of the number itself. Here 12 is the factor of 12 and 6 is the factor of 6, 10 is the factor of 10. So every number can be considered as the factor of the number itself. And the third property, every number is the multiple of the number itself. So here 12 is the multiple of 12 and 30 is a multiple of 30. So every number is the multiple of the number itself and that is the least multiple of the number. So the number itself is the least multiple of the number. And here 1 is the factor of every number. So here 1 is the least factor of every number and every number is the factor of the number itself and this is the greatest factor of the every number means any number so every number is the greatest greatest factor of the number itself and every number is the multiple of the number itself so here every number is the least multiple of the number itself now the fourth one is the number of factors of a number is finite so we can write only the finite number of factors of a given number so the factors of 12 are 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 so there are no other factors for 12 so we can write only the finite number of factors of a given number but whereas the number of multiples of a given number is infinite so we can write the infinite multiples of a given number because the given number can be multiplied by the infinite natural numbers. 
so we can write the infinite number of multiples of a given number the number of multiples of a number is infinite now the next sixth property the factor of a number is less than or equal to the given number see the if you consider the factors of 12 one is less than 12 2 3 4 6 so all these factors are less than the given number 12 and the number itself is equal to the given number so the factor of a number is less than or equal to the given number the factor of a number is less than or equal to the number and but the multiples of the given number see the multiples of 12 are 12 24 36 48 and so on So here only the first multiple twelve is equal to the given number, and all the other multiples are greater than the given number. So we can write the multiple of a number is greater than. Or equal to the number. So these are the properties regarding the factors and multiples of a given number. So we repeat once again. One is the factor of every number, and it is the least factor of every number. And every number is the factor of the number itself, and it is the greatest factor of the given number. and next every number is the multiple of the number itself and this is the smallest multiple of the given number next the number of factors of a number is finite and the number of multiples of a number is infinite and the factor of a number is less than or equal to the number and the multiple of a number is greater than or equal to the number So far we have discussed what is the factor and what is the multiple of a given number and we have also discussed some properties based on the factors and multiples of a given number now let us find factors all the factors of some given numbers now write all the factors of the following numbers now the first one is 24 now 24 can be written as 1 into 24 and 2 into 12 so 2 12 is 24 and 3 into 8 3 is 24 and also 4 into 6 so it is not divisible by 5 So if it is divisible by six, then again we get six into four. So then again we get eight into three, twelve into two, and twenty-four into one. Now here we can write all the factors of twenty-four are one, two, three, four, six, eight, twelve, and twenty-four. One, two, three, four. Six, eight, twelve, and twenty-four. Now, right, we'll take the second question. Thirty. So, if you run, if you want to write the factors of thirty, so then we should write the given number thirty as a product of two natural numbers. So then we get 
30 equals to 1 into 30 then we can write 2 into 15 so we can write 3 into 10 and it is not divisible by 4 table so then if you write 5 into 6 so again all the numbers will be repeated as 6 into 5 10 into 3 15 into 2 and 30 into 1 now we can write the factors of 30 are 1 2 3 5 6 10 15 30 next Sixty-eight. So if you write sixty-eight as a product of two numbers, so we can write one into sixty-eight. So then two into thirty-four. So it is not divisible by three table. So we can write four table. Four into seventeen, and it is not divisible by five table. It is not divisible by six. Eight and not divisible by 9 and 10 also so we can write the factors of 68 1 2 4 17 34 and 68 next fourth one 36 so if you write 36 as a product of two numbers so 36 equals to 1 into 36 2 into 18 3 into 12 4 into 9 and 6 into 6 so we can write factors of 36 are 1 2 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, 36. Now let us solve the next question. Write the first five multiples first five multiples of 5 and 8 so if you want to find the multiples of a given number then the given number should be multiplied by the natural numbers 1 2 3 4 5 and so on so if you want to find the first five multiples then the given number should be multiplied by 1 2 3 4 and 5 so let us find the first 5 multiples of 5. So 5 into 1 equals to 5. 5 into 2 equals to 10. 5 into 3 equals to 15. 5 into 4 equals to 20. And 5 into 5 equals to 25. So we can write the first 5 multiples of 5 are 5 comma 10 comma 15 20 and 25 now the second one 8 so here also 8 is multiplied by 1 2 3 4 and 5 so 8 ones are 8 8 into 2 16 8 into 3 24 8 into 4 32 and 8 into 5 equals to 40 so the first 5 the first 5 multiples of 8 are 8 comma 16 comma 24 comma 32 
and 40. So these are the first five multiples of the given number 8. Now let us start the next topic prime numbers and composite numbers. Now if you write the factors of some natural numbers, so first we write the number. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.